Welcome back. This is Joe Samo from San Diego. I had a few students that had problems with quadratic equations. Give this one a shot by hitting the pause button and then we'll do them together. I hope you tried it on your own. Now let's do it together. For that first one, we got x squared plus 8x equals negative 15. We want to bring everything to the same side. So we add 15 to each side. So we get 8, x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now we want two numbers that multiply to 15 and have a sum of 8. So what multiplies to 15? We could try 1 and 15 or 3 and 5. And 3 and 5 would be the right connection, right? Because 3 plus 5 is 8. So we would have x plus 3 times x plus 5 equals 0. And then we set each one to 0. So this one would be x equals negative 3, and this one is x equals negative 5. And that's the answer for that one. Let's try another, the next one. 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now this one, we have a 5 there, so we're going to need a 5x and an x, right? Because 5x times x equals 5x squared. And then we need two numbers that multiply to negative 3. So we would want a 3 and a 1. And now we just have to position it. You see that the, the positive 2 uh, is the sum there. So we want one number here and that number multiplied by 5. When we add it with this number multiplied by 1, we got to have a positive 2. So if we look at the 3, if we put the 3 here and the 1 here, 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 1x is 1. So that would be too much of a difference. So then let's get rid of those guys. If we put the 3 here and the 1 here, we'd multiply the 5 by the 1, that's 5, and the 3 by the x, that's 3x. So that would get us a difference of 2. And we want a difference of positive 2. So 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3. We want the 5 to be positive so that the sum would be positive 2. So we would want a plus 1 there and a minus 3 here. Just to check our work, let's do the FOIL. First, outer, inner, and last. 5x is times x, that's 5x squared, that's the first. The outer is 5x and 1, so that's plus 5x. The inner is negative 3 and x, so that's negative 3x. And the last is negative 3 and 1, right? So we have 5x squared, and then we have, uh, if we add that, we got plus 2x minus 3 equals zero. So we're just checking our work. We did get it right. So now we go back to this up here. Uh, then we set each of those to zero. So we get set 5x minus 3 equals zero, and we have x plus 1 equals zero. So 5x minus 3 equals zero. We add 3 to each side, so we get 5x equals 3. So x equals 3 fifths. And here, this one's a little easy. We just subtract 1 to each side. We get x equals negative 1. And those are the two answers. All right, the reason why we set those, this guy and this guy to zero is because as long as one of, those, one of those two entities equals zero, then it doesn't matter what the other one is because zero times any number is zero. Let's do the third one. 2x squared minus 5x equals 63. We want to get everything to one side, so we got 2x squared minus 5x. Let's subtract 63 from each side. Minus 63 equals zero. Now, at that point, we have the 2x there, so we have 2x, and then we have x. And then we want here, we want two numbers that multiply to 63. We could go with 3 and 21, that multiplies to 63. We can go 1 and 63, or we could go 9 and 7. My feeling is 9 and 7 will work because those are close together, and we have a negative 5 in the middle, so we want something somewhat close together. We could try it two ways. We can put the 9 there and the 7 there. We would have to multiply the 2 by the 9, that's 18, and the 7 by the 1, that's 7. The difference between 18 and 7 is 11, so that's a little too much. Uh, let's try it the other way around where we put the 9 here and the 7 there. If we multiply the 2 by the 7, that's 14, and the 9 by the 1, that's 9. So for the difference between 14 and 9 is 5, so that should work. And because the 5 is a negative, we want the higher number to be the negative one. So the 9 times 1 is 9, and the 7 times 2 is 14. So we want the 14 to be negative. So we're going to put the negative 7 there, 
and the positive 9 here. So let's check our work. First, 2x times x is 2x squared. Outer, 2x times negative 7 is negative 14x. And 9nx is positive 9x. And then the last, we get 9, 9 times negative 7, which is negative 63. Right? And then those two middle terms does equal uh, negative 5. So we checked our work, and indeed, uh, it does match up. So now we go back up here. Uh, you don't have to do this middle part, the checking the work right there. We're just doing it just to make sure we get it right. So you set each of those to 0. We get 2x plus 9 equals 0, and we have x minus 7 equals 0. I guess we could do this one first. We just add 7 to each side, so x equals 7. That's one answer. Then we get 2x plus 9 equals 0, so 2x equals negative 9. Then we get x equals negative 9 halves. That's the other answer. Those are the two answers for that one. If you want, you could plug it into the original equation, and it will uh, work out. Let's do this last one real quick. We have 3x squared equals 105 minus 6x. We put it all on one side. We get 3x squared plus 6x. We want to add 6x there to get rid of that guy. We could factor out a 3 here because 3 goes into each of those. So if you factor out a 3, uh, you get 3. And then in here, you get, you get x squared plus 2x minus uh, 105 divided by 3, if we do that one really quick, is 35 equals 0. So then we divide 3. We can get rid of that 3 just by dividing 3 to each side. So we get x squared plus 2x minus 35 equals 0. Now we want a negative 7 and, let's see, 7 and 5. Multiply 7 and 5, we get 35. We want a 2x, so we want a positive number. So we want the 7 to be positive. We can have x plus 7 times x minus 5 equals 0. x equals negative 7 for that one, and x equals 5 for that one. Try this one on your own and put the answers in the comments. Good luck.